G'day! In today's video I'm swapping a battery in an iPad Air 2. Now these are usually fairly risky to do, I don't normally do them, but today I'm having a crack using a no hand battery, which the other dilemma I have with most batteries is finding a quality one to put in. No hand I've been using for iPhone repairs, I've been very happy with their batteries, so I don't see why their iPad batteries will be much different. So this one here is running at 73% battery life, which is pretty buggered. And how am I going to get in here? So I'm going to use my blue heat pad here. This is quite warm to the touch. It's at 75 degrees Celsius and it's been sitting on here for about 5-10 minutes. So hopefully the adhesives become fairly tacky. On other iPads, this screen isn't glued to the display. So if you, use, if you pry too far in, you can damage the LCD. Especially with this, you can still damage the LCD. But I'm going to use some isopropyl, a fin pry tool, a couple of these to keep it open help lift it up. And I should be able to successfully remove the screen without causing any damage. The flex connectors or cable connectors are down this bottom corner. So pretty much I should be able to go around these sections with pretty much freedom to get in there pretty easily. So I'll put some isopropyl on here, a little bit on the blade. And if I just pry a little bit into it, I should just be able to cut through. Now this is a combination of the heat and the isopropyl. So I'm only going in a really tiny amount. I don't want to dig too far into it as you still do risk damaging the display. I'll let, the, let the isopropyl alcohol run down the bottom here, get onto my blade and proceed going this way. You can definitely feel when there's no minimal adhesive compared to other areas as it just cuts through there quite easily. Proceed down this way too. Just need to take note of how far in I'm prying. There we go. So now I'm getting some resistance, which would be the adhesive. Now I should be able to pry it up just slightly. Just enough, I can put one of these in there. That will just stop it reattaching with the heat. And if we continue around the other side, hopefully, get dig in. Then around this way too. There does seem to be still a bit of tension around here. So I'm assuming it's still stuck down around here. I'm just prying it up slightly. There we go, that's lifted just enough. Now I can pry that a bit further in. Same with on this side. And as you can see, a bit of a sandwich going on there. I need some more isopropyl. Dribble that on. As the spray nozzle on that's failed. Uh, this is where you've got to be a bit careful. Aggressively moving these down to lift it up. I can feel that's still got the adhesive attached to it. I'm going to cut that like that. Do the same down this side. See down it. We'll have to cut it as well as it is it's still attached to the screen. There we go. down here. Okay, now that's enabled me to lift it up higher. If I keep going along here. And just a little bit in here. 
Now this is where the next tricky part comes up. I do want to lift it. I want to lift it up. Lift it up and pull it this way. So it doesn't stretch out the connector too much. You can see I'm kind of crab walking it. Still a bit stuck down here. So I'll put some of this. Hopefully, that should free it up enough. Pull this back a little bit more. Don't have to go down in this corner here. Still kind of stuck. There we go. So if you do end up damaging this particular part, it is a few hundred dollars to replace, which is not what you want. So that this will be the most challenging part of the removal. Potentially getting the battery up, maybe if you're not too careful. As we can see, we folded over. We have various connections down the bottom here. So now I should be able to undo these four screw, uh, three screws over here, disconnect the screen, and take that away. So we've only, just using a plain Phillips head screwdriver. One. Two. Oh, sorry, by plain I mean three zero Phillips head. Go. It's done. That out of the way. Disconnect. Just flicking my nail in there to get them open and pulling the cable up. And we have those connectors there. So I'll put that out of the way for the minute. And next up is unscrewing the screw to the battery. So I'll have this one here. That's pretty much it for that battery connector. But we do have to lift the main board up slightly, so we'll take out the SIM card slot on this one. SIM card tray. Yours may or may not have that. But this is going to cause me issues if I leave that in. So I'll take that out. And now I need to pry underneath the battery around the perimeter to slowly lift that out. Also with the help of old friend Isopropyl. I will compare the new battery with that one prior to trying to get it out. Just in case I ordered the wrong one, I'm pretty sure I've got the right one here. It comes in a big fancy box, which personally, I just want the battery. I don't care about the overall appearance of it. And this lifts that down. One battery here. As you can see, adhesive along here. Battery connector here. That's going to live like that. So, I do have the right battery. Having the right part always makes the job easier. And now I need to try and pry this battery up. So we'll start from down the bottom here. And I'll put some isopropyl just along there. Pull it back, let it seep down. And then I'll be using one of these. Inside the kit, I'm curious what tools actually came with it to get in there. We do have fresh, ad fresh adhesive. Phillips head screw, tweezers. This one here will actually be useful for me. And also a suction cup to get the screen out. But I will switch to this one and give this a shot. The paint scraper. That's working very well. If I keep pushing that under on that angle, should be able to get cell one out. Yep. That's starting on cell two. Back the other way. And the isopropyl alcohol has helped lift this one.
Okay, this way. There we go. And we are completely disconnected. So next up from here, I want to be lifting up the main board just slightly. Just try to pry it under it. tools, switch to the plastic tweezers, and I should just be able to jam that under there, just enough that I can pull this up, no not quite, Spudger. under, Also, you don't want to bend the battery too much. Bending the battery is not good for its health or your health. As a broken battery can explode, and they're not pretty when they do. So there we go. One battery out. So we do have a bit of folds going on there. Do we have a build date at all? Uh, not that I can see. So next up. We're now at reinstalling the new battery. Take this off. Do you want to line it up first? Reinstalling the new battery should be easier than uninstalling the old battery. Should is the correct term. There's a small little gap I'm trying to hook it on to get the battery over. So in the actual chassis of the front of the iPad, there's a small circle under here. That's why there's a cutout here. So the dilemma of trying to lift something up while simultaneously put that again. There we go. And should be able to tell that you're attached by pulling back and it doesn't want to go anywhere. So from there, we should be right just to drop it, push down. And now we've got one battery installed. So from here, put that there. Make sure everyone's nice and neat. Straighten up some tape. This cover here can potentially come off now. There we go. And now we bring back our old friends, the SIM tray. Put that in. And we'll bring back the screen. So it's a matter of lining up those connectors and pushing down so they click into position. So we'll zoom in enough. Better line it up over here. Push down. And it should make a, it should feel relatively flat and straight. And it should make a, pretty much a snap click noise. Same with over here. Might not have heard that on the footage, but we clicked in. Now I need to put the cover back over here. So, we'll grab our three screws there, our battery screw. And with a bit of luck, you may be able to reapply the screen without having to redo the adhesive, which is what I'm going to do in this particular instance, as I am overall happy with the quality of the, uh, the volume of adhesive that's still there where if you do end up having to scrape it off, you get in the path of replacing, the kit does include adhesive for that. Okay. Another screw to there. Now all I really need to do from here is slide it forward, 
Oops, sorry. Zoom out. And I should just be able to fold this down. And line it up in the corners. Push down with a little bit of force. And now I'm just going to heat this up again so that adhesive becomes tacky once more. And then stick it on charge from there. So that's how to replace the battery in your iPad Air 2 with the Nohan one. Hope this helps. Similar steps to do this in, alternate, in other iPads, except you also need to take out the display. So there is a bit more risk of something going wrong and something getting damaged. But on the iPad Air 2 with the screen fused to the glass, it should be a bit simpler for you to do. Hope this helped and I'll see you guys later. Bye.